Okay, so in this video, we're gonna to put together our lovely little Valentine's luminary. And um, I'm gonna start off by doing a little pre-prep work here. Um, gonna get a few of the little items kind of put together and prepped for the main assembly here. Um, first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna grab this piece here, this little, uh, this little Cupid. There is a tiny little heart that is gonna go right on the back of this piece here. It's a, kind of a delicate little vellum piece. So we want to use as little glue as we can, especially around this little perimeter part. Get a little bit on the arm and get some in there. And then I'm just gonna put this flat on my paper here. Just make sure that I get everything nice and lined up correctly. Okay, so that's what that's gonna look like. We're gonna eventually adhere that to the front of the final project. So we can put that off to the side for a second. Um, the next little bit of pre-prep that I wanna do is with this little uh, leaf section of our flower. You'll notice that there are some score lines here. You want to go ahead and fold this at the score marks and it's going to kind of give this piece a little dimension. So we're going to do that. And there's also, um, there's also some little veins for this piece here. And because of the score marks, we don't want to put it right in the center. We're actually gonna glue that off to the side of the score mark, so just above the score mark, okay? And we wanna bring this in a little bit so that the tip of this terminates probably just after this third little um, tip, leaf tip there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that in place. I'm just gonna use a series of dots on this. And make sure that you're getting it out to the edge nicely. I think my the flow of my glue started a little slow, but has picked up. So I need to maybe just dab a little bit of this so that it doesn't smear when I put it down. Okay, and just get that glued right above the score mark. Bring that in a tad and push that down. Okay. And then give that a little bit of a fold. Make sure that all stays in place after you fold it. Okay, just like that. And then just repeat the same process on the other side. Just little dots is all you need. Okay. And again, we're gonna place this slightly above the score mark there. And push down. Okay, so let's let that set for a little bit before we go and bend it anymore. Put that off to the side. We've got our Cupid all done here. Um, one other thing too that I kind of did beforehand is created these little hearts on our little pipe cleaners. So we can go ahead and do that. I have this pipe cleaner cut to about six inches. Okay, there's gonna be a small heart at the tip. So you have two of these hearts that are the same size. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue on the back of this. Get a nice amount on there. Just lay this down on your table. And we're gonna sandwich this pipe 
all right, in between. I try to get it lined up nice and center. And then take and press the other one down right on top. Okay, and then maybe pick it up and scooch it around a little bit to make sure that you've got it nice and centered and then put it back down and really apply that pressure, especially right towards the center there of that pipe to make sure that you get a good hold all the way around, just like that, okay? Okay, so we've got that on there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the larger heart below it Okay, so let's get our glue on the larger heart. And I already created one, so I'm putting the other one next to it just so that I can get them kind of equally spaced. Okay, so let's put that on there. And that looks about right. Get that right on there and then take your other heart, sandwich it right on top and press. Okay, I'm gonna pick that up a little bit and scooch it around a tad and really press down here in the middle. If you wanna use hot melt glue, you can. I'm okay with the regular glue. It seems to hold just fine. Okay, and while I have this, I'm gonna grab my red ink pad and just hit the edges of this with some red ink because it is a white core. And I wanna kinda of hide that white a little bit. Okay. And then we've got um, some overlays. We've got this heart here that's a little bit, uh, it's not as pointy in the center, so you wanna find that one. Ours is in pink. Okay, and we're gonna put that right on top of this heart here, and this is going on glitter. So as you guys know, cardstock going on glitter sometimes takes a little bit longer to set. So be patient with that. Give it a, give it a few extra seconds than you normally would if you're just gluing cardstock on cardstock. Okay, that's good. It should hold. And then there's one tiny little heart that goes on the top pink one. Let's get our glue on there and put that in place. Okay. All right. And one's gonna be curving one way, the other one's gonna be slightly curving the other way. I'll just kind of take that and curve that. We can always finesse that later on once we get it in place. Okay, so those are done. Next thing we can do is get our get this little flower assembled. There's two pieces, one with um, these heart-shaped petals. The other one is just with regular petals. I'm gonna flare these small petals out a little bit with a little skewer just to kind of give them a little bit of dimension. Okay, you could probably accomplish that as well by just kind of I'm cupping it with your fingers. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm just using the skewer because I'm afraid that if I try to do it with my fingers, I will get a very prominent looking crease in there and I don't want that. I want them to be nice and round. Okay, so what we'll do is just put a tiny dot of glue on the back of this, pop it down. You wanna offset it so that the petals are not on top of each other. This is a really tiny little piece. So you may want to use a little tool or something to kind of move it around. And I need more glue because it is tiny. I may use my little pick-me-up tool to get this job done. There we go. Just kind of offset that nice and centered. Get that in there. Let's let that dry. And I am gonna put a little pearl in the center of that. Just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Oops. Let's grab the pick-me-up tool here. 
And let's throw a little dot of glue on here for just to be safe. I don't always trust that sticky backing on there. Okay, get out a twirl. All right, so let's let that set. We can kind of play with that a little bit more later on. Um, just want to go over a few things here as far as inking goes. Um, on this shape here, I went ahead and inked this with a purple up to this part here, and it stopped here. I'm not doing this part here because that's going to be hidden. So if you want to do some inking, just do it in those sections there. I did that with a purple. This pink piece, I inked it with a red to give it a, a little bit of a darker hue all the way around. So I did that. On this piece here, I did a little bit of turquoise along the sides here. Okay, and on this piece here, I did some turquoise all the way around this little scallop part. I did not do it up here because that's going to be hidden. This is our vellum piece, and then this is our little uh, part of our flower, um, which actually doesn't really need anything. We can put that off to the side for now. And um, this is the base of the uh, little design that goes on the front of the box. So let's put that off to the side for a second, and let's take a look at our flower. And you see here, I've already done some pre-inking on this. And um, these petals are kind of random. So it may be a little difficult to distinguish which one's the largest, which one's the smallest. But um, you can actually tell that by looking at the little square in the center of the flower itself. Okay, so that's the largest square here. That's getting a little smaller, a little smaller, a little smaller, a little smaller, and so on. And then this is the smallest piece. And uh, as I mentioned, I went ahead and I distressed this with a, this red color with a purple. So I'm grabbing my little applicator and I am just running that purple along the edge and definitely hitting the edge and then scraping a little bit of that color onto the surface to make it almost, give it like a burnt look, okay? So I'm just gonna continue with that all the way around and on all the petals here. And I'm just kind of bending these out of the way so it's easier for me to ink without getting the ink in places I don't want it. Okay, and this just gives it like a little burnt look. Like the tips of the flowers are sort of starting to lose their color or deepen their color. Okay, so this is optional. Uh, because we're going to be training this and bending it and creasing it, chances are the shadows that you create by doing that are going to give this a natural ink, inked sort of look. So this is completely optional. If you want to ink it, you can. You don't have to. Um, but that is going to look really nice once it's done. So what we can go ahead and do, and may as well do this now just to make life easier, is we're going to take the stamen piece here and you know what I'm going to rub the tips of this with a little bit of purple too. It may not show up because this is already a dark color but it may add a little bit of interest to it so I'm just going to do that real quick. We're going to wrap this up onto a little skewer, add a bunch of glue on there so that it stays for us and then we'll go ahead and begin assembling our flower here. So just grab, uh, grab your skewer, and actually it may help to take this piece and run it through a little dowel just to kind of start curving it. And that will help eliminate any resistance that that paper has when you curl it even more around your little skewer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my glue and just put a nice little line of glue all the way down this piece. And I'm gonna begin wrapping it around my dowel. So I'm just wrapping it and rolling it around the dowel. We're going to take it off. 
because we, we're not putting the flour on a stick this time, but I'm just using the little skewer here as a guide to help me get this nice and tight and nice and rolled. Okay, and that's perfect. And I'm just gonna hold that in my finger for a little bit here until that glue begins to set. Okay, and that's gonna go in the center of our flour once we have it completely built. Okay, so let's just let that dry nicely, give it a little bit of time, and um, you can start working with <clears throat> the next piece here. We're gonna start from within and work our way out, okay? So let's grab this first piece here, and I'm gonna begin by training this piece in. Okay. And we're curling it inward. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing and cup it so that it creates a, a nice little cup. Okay. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my 3 8 inch dowel and I'm gonna take this and each of these petals, I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around this dowel to kind of cup each individual piece as well. And that's gonna help make this process easier for us. Okay. So we wanna cup it so that it kind of looks like this. And that's gonna involve gluing each of these little sides to its neighbor. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of glue on the tip of this right here. Okay, and I'm gonna slide that behind this other piece and just hold that in place while that sets. Now this is the only part of the flower that we're gonna be doing this to, so the rest of it should go pretty quick. I'm gonna put some glue on this tip here now and tuck that behind this other part here on this side and just hold that in place while that sets. You wanna make sure that you give this ample time to dry because once we get the other parts cupped, it, it is gonna to want to resist and kind of pull apart. So take your time with this and make sure that you're really letting that glue set. Okay, so that's pretty good. And we're gonna bring this one inside here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right there. Okay, and just bring that in and just hold that in place and let that set. Okay, now with this last piece here, I'm gonna take my dowel and curl that in a lot more. Okay, just so that it really is curled in like that. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is let that kind of sit inside more. And I'm gonna put glue on the tip, on the edge of this section here and we're really gonna bring that in a lot more. So it kind of gives us that sort of look, okay? And we can curl that in a lot more too. Okay, just hold that and let that really get a good grip. Give it a good squeeze. And we can kind of fold that in a little bit more Okay, I'm gonna keep holding that until that really, for sure, is set. And I think that's gonna do it. I'll give it one more good squeeze. Okay, so that's good. Now we can take the little stamen part of our flower, and I'm gonna ruffle these out now. Just make them as random as you can. Okay, try to create some separation between all of them if you can, and just ruffle them out, make them look random. Bring a couple in towards the center, a few out towards the outside. Just stagger them as much as you can so that kind of looks like that, okay? 
And then what we're gonna wanna do is, I'm gonna put this on my stick here, just barely on there. And I'm gonna get a good amount of glue on the bottom of this thing. And we're gonna drop it right into the middle of our flower. And just lift that stick out. Okay. And I don't know if you can really see that in there. It's kind of dark in there. <clears throat> okay, I'll put that off to the side and let that set. It might help to prop it up against something so it stays vertical. And then we can move on to our next piece here. All right, so let's grab the next largest. So that's the largest here. This is the largest with the largest square. We want the second smallest. Okay, I'm gonna grab my dowel and I'm gonna go ahead and curl these petals up. Okay, get those nice and curled. And because this is like the layer that's just at, almost at the top here, I'm gonna work these fibers here right towards the base of it a little bit more so that they flare up, okay? And then um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and curl the tips of these in various ways to kind of give them some more interest Okay, it helps to kind of change up the angle at which you're doing this to achieve different kinds of looks. And it's gonna make it look really real. Okay. And don't, don't pull too hard. You don't want to rip it. Okay, there we go. That looks nice, okay. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab our little flower with the little stamen piece in there and get that ready. Just gonna throw some glue on there and just match it, match it up as far as the little square goes. And just glue that down. Okay. It's looking really nice. Okay, just let that sit and set. You can move on to the next one here. Um, this petal here is gonna be kind of a transitional petal. Um, the top two sections are kind of cupping up. This one, we, we still wanna cup up, but we want to give it the impression that it's gonna start curling down as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my dowel and cup this or just train it upwards. I'm not gonna work the center too much. And we're gonna bring a couple of these up and then maybe work a couple of these down, okay? So that it's kind of going up and down in both directions, okay? But mostly, we just wanna find a good balance for this one. Okay, there's one up, there's one down. Okay, and let's grab our flower. Throw a little glue on here. And again, you wanna go ahead and offset this a little bit so that the petals are not right on top of each other. Okay, and just press that. Make sure you've got it nice and centered. And hold that in place. <clears throat> okay, so that's what we have so far. It's looking really nice. Okay, next layer here. Now this is where we're gonna start curling them downward. Um, so I'm gonna flip this over and train this the other way, just slightly. The last two are probably gonna curl more so as far as uh, that looks nice. 
And then you can go ahead and pinch and roll the edges of these. Okay, just do them in different directions. Just to kind of make it random. Like so. Okay. And again, add our glue. And we want to offset that as well. Just make sure that it's not fighting for space and the petals are, you can see them nicely. This flower's looking really nice. Okay, look at that. That inking really brings it to life. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna flip this one over again, the next layer, and curl it down, mostly at the tips. Okay, and then let's take our smaller dowel and just start pinching and Increasing the little tips here. Okay. <clears throat> and let's add our glue. And oops, again, just make sure that you're staggering these so that they're not right on top of each other. You wanna offset them just slightly. Okay, and just push that down. Make sure it gets a good hold. There we go. That's looking lovely. All right, <clears throat> and our last layer here. Give that a little bit of a train downward. Okay, and again, grab the smaller dowel and crease these and pinch them and give them a little bit of random love. Like so. Bring these up. Okay, let's get our glue on here. Pop that right on there. Make sure we're offsetting it so those petals that we just created are visible. Okay, that looks good. And just press that down. Give it a little bit of time to bond. Oops. And there is our flower. I think I kind of, well, the center's okay. I might have ripped it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to that. It seems to be coming off because I keep touching it. Okay, so I'm just gonna squish that down. Okay, so there's our flower. We're gonna put that off to the side and let that really cure and set so that when we put it all together, we don't have to worry about it coming apart. Um, we may as well get this section all set up as well. So we've got our leaves here, which we already pre-assembled. can go ahead and crease this now and give it a little bit more life, just like that. Do the same thing on the other side, okay? And we're going to adhere this gold part to the back of this, like so. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and just kind of curl this and train this a little bit. Bring it, give it a little bit of life in whichever direction you want to go. Maybe bring some of them inward, some of them outward. Just don't rip it like I almost did here. It's kind of a delicate little piece. Okay, that's just going to bring it to life for us. That part careful with. OK, 
Okay, that's fine. And we'll pop a little bit of glue on this circular piece here and get that glued down to this piece here. Just make sure the little circles align and then pick it up and adjust it so that it's nice and centered. Okay, and just squeeze that to get these two pieces to stick. Okay, and then we can actually take our flower and glue our flower to the center of that as well. So let's get our glue on there, get a nice amount of glue on there and just find the little hole back there and center it nicely, push down, give that a second. Okay, and there's our main little focal point of our project. Just make sure that everything is bonding nicely and then we'll put that off to the side to let that completely cure. So that's kind of what that should look like. Very pretty piece. All right, so we've got a lot of this already pre-assembled here. Um, now what's left is creating the actual structure here, which should be pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at what we have here. All right. So what we're gonna do, this is the main piece here, okay? And we're going to take and I'm gonna put the vellum on first, right onto this piece here, okay? Let me uh, get this all in frame here. So this main piece here with the little bottom part, we're gonna put the vellum on here, like so, okay? And then we're gonna put this white piece on top of that, okay? And then on top of that is going to go the purple piece, like so. Okay. And then the next white piece is going to go over that. Okay. And then we've got this piece here. It's going to go on top of that, like so. And then finally, we've got this little heart that's going to go here. And then two tiny little hearts that are going to go here and here. And that's going to create the actual display portion of this. The rest of it is just a simple box. Uh, and that will go together pretty easily as well. Um, so I just wanted to show you the actual layout of everything. Okay, so again, just keep in mind where the glue needs to go. We're going to work the perimeter. Then we're going to add a few spots here and there um, to kind of anchor it down in the center. And I am going to just use a series of dots. I, I don't want to use a lot of glue on this because I don't want it to bleed through into the little windows here. Okay, so we're going to just work the perimeter. Just add little dots all the way around. Okay, and then work some dots in the center. You don't need to get every little nook and cranny as long as you space it out nicely and get it into the details. I think that would be fine. Now, if you want, if you have a spray adhesive, if you use spray adhesives, you're more than welcome to use that for something like this as it will definitely get more coverage and keep this thing down nicely, but I think this is just fine. Again, just try to get it in as many little spots as you can. That's good enough. And let's get this placed on here correctly. Just make sure that you're covering all of the little areas that need to be covered. And then just push, push down. Spread that out nicely. Okay, everything else is going to be covered up. I think I went a little bit high, but it came out pretty good. Okay, so next step here, next layer, 
is this white layer. And as you can see, that's going to go right over this and that's going to cover up all that really nice. Okay. So now this is, um, this is where the spray adhesive may really come into play. Um, I'm going to try it without it. I think it'll be okay. And you know what may actually help is, let me take a look at something real quick here. Let me see if we can just do half of this at a time. We may be able to do that. Yeah, I think we can. All right, let's do that. We're going to work half of this at a time. And I'm going to actually lift this up because we are going to want to put glue in these sections here as well. Okay, I'm going to leave the top unglued. I'm going to do that last. And I'm going to begin by putting dots of glue all over this little scalloped area because I need that to stick nicely. Got to get that glue out to the edge nicely as well. And then down here, and I'm lifting this up so I can get a little bit of light through it so I know where to put the glue on the inside portion. Okay, and just like we did with the vellum, just go ahead and pick the spots. You can actually probably just go over the spots that you did with the vellum. Just make sure that you get ample coverage on here so that this piece stays down nicely. I think the spray glue may be, may make this job a little bit easier, but if you don't have it, I want to show you how to do it without it and that it can be done. Okay, just make sure that you've got it nice and lined up all the way around. Okay, if you got a little bit of glue that came out, just dab it off before it has a chance to set. And just push. That looks good. The rest of the pieces are pretty easy. I only did half of this because I feel like I can only concentrate on half of it at a time. And then we can always lift this up and get our glue under there and get the rest of this glued down. So that's what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to peel this back a little bit and get my glue. I'm working the outer scallops first here, the little heart scallop things and getting that glue right out to the edge and along the bottom here. And then again, just looking at the dots that I made initially when I put the vellum down, and using that as a guide to help me locate some more spots where I can put my glue down. Okay, and there we go. Just get that nice and sandwiched. I had a little bit of a overload on the glue up there, but that's okay. That's looking good. I think as long as that outer section holds nicely. This whole thing will stay intact for us. But by all means, if you have spray glue, feel free to feel free to use it. Okay. And again, now remember, I didn't glue this hard up here, but that's okay because it's kind of isolated and what I'm going to do is use my little use my handy little trick here where and just take a little bit of glue and put it on a scrap piece of paper, lift this up, and then just kind of paint that glue onto that piece there and push that down. Okay, so let's take a look here. That looks pretty darn good and it seems pretty solid. Okay, so we can go ahead and put our purple piece on now. Okay, so that piece is going to go on like so. This one's going to be a little bit easier to work with, I think. So we can go ahead and flip this over. And again, I'm going to go with just dots scattered around the inner parts and then maybe just a nice thin line on the perimeter. I'm going to make sure you get that out to the edge as close as you can so it really holds that down. Just kind of working that glue 
out to the edge. And again, just kind of dab little, little dots throughout these little intricate parts. Get some glue here. You know, these little detailed pieces like this, again, I know I keep repeating myself here, but by all means, if you've got like a repositionable spray adhesive, feel free to use that. It will make it easier for you, but definitely make sure it's repositionable because some of those glues are not. And with a piece like this, if you don't get it lined up correctly the first time, it's not forgiving and you probably will have to start over, which I don't want you to have to do. Okay, so that looks good. Looks like we did a good job on that. Okay, so our purple is down. And you know what also may help to do, after you get this piece done, it may help to kind of put this inside of a book and just let this completely flatten out and cure. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this piece on here. And again, I'm working the perimeter first because that is going to be the most important getting that glue out on those little scallops working that glue and then I'm going to go ahead and work the inside here get as much glue as I can on that and then put a few dots on the little detail areas There we go. That was kind of spastic, but it worked. Okay, and then just line that up. Find a, find a focal point, focus on it, make sure it's lined up, and then kind of use your eye to go around the rest of the design and make sure the rest of that's lined up. And definitely press down around the perimeter, make sure that that's all nice and set. Okay. There we go and continue just pressing down. Make sure that that's all nice and flat. Okay, that looks great. Next layer is this heart here. I'm gonna put that right on top of that last layer we just did. So let's work that glue out. I'm just kind of doing little circles around the little scallops there. Get some glue onto the main hunk of the, the meat here. And I gotta work quick. That's pretty good. And again, just find something to focus on as you're placing this down to make sure that you've got it aligned precisely. And push that down. Make sure that's nice and centered. And there we go. Looking good. Okay. All right. So the meat of this is pretty much done. What we can go ahead and do is grab our little glitter heart and pop that right at the top of our design here. Almost at the top, pretty close. Okay, so that's going to go right here, just like that. Make sure you get that nice and aligned and press down. That looks good. Okay. And then we've got um, two little hearts that are going to go above that. We did one in like a blue turquoisey sort of glitter. Which looks really cool. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna center that in this heart here. Just press that down, and there's one more little red glitter heart. 
It's going to go right up at the top here. Just like that. Let's make sure we got that centered. Looks a little cockeyed. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that looks good. Um, we're going to put our little flower on here and our little cupid. And again, this is the section here that's going to get glued down to the face of the box, which is actually going to go together really quickly as well. Um, but let's, um, let's go ahead and get our flower on there real quick. And at this point, this thing should be really dry. You can go ahead and kind of curl these petals out. Okay. So we're just kind of flaring these petals in and then cupping this little flower in as well. And I think this one calls for either a foam square or a pop dot to give it a little bit of dimension. I'm going to grab a pop dot and I'm going to tear it just to get a little part of it. Just a tiny little piece that we'll put right on the back of this thing that's actually a little bit too big, I think. Just pop that right on the back. And that's going to go right on the base of this glitter heart here. Okay, let's just stick that right on there like so. Sometimes the pop dots, they kind of have a mind of their own and tend to wander off in certain directions, which is why I like the foam squares, but I don't think the foam square is going to stand the test of time being glued on glitter. So I'm going with the pop dot. <clears throat> And that looks nice, okay? And we've got our little Cupid here. And the Cupid is gonna go right here. You can see there's a little cutout here. And that's so that the, when the light shines through, it illuminates the heart red and not the gold. Um, this also, we are going to pop dot, but I'm gonna use foam squares since it's paper on paper. And I have some foam squares here. So I'm gonna put one right in the middle of his head let me get some on his wings. Put one on his butt. And let's see how that, that looks fine. Get a nice one on his little butt there. And did I encroach over that too much or no? No, that looks good. And then maybe one down here. That should be that should be plenty, I think. All right, so let's peel the backing off of these. And let's get our Cupid on there. And then all that's really left to do is assemble the box, which is literally just a box. And that should take no more than a minute or two. And then we just glue this whole thing onto that box. It's got a little base to be held up. And then you can put some little electronic tea lights on the back of it to shine through the vellum. Okay, so let's get our Cupid on here. And look at the little arm here. Hopefully you can see that. I should be able to. Let me see if that's in focus. Yeah. Just line that up. Line his arm up with the other arm. Here we go. All right. There's Mr. Cupid. And you can see from the back that we've got that lined up perfectly. Okay. So Cupid's ready to go. Let's take a look at our box. Okay, pretty simple piece here. First thing we're gonna do, I've got our, I already have everything pretty much folded here. So you wanna fold everything at the score marks. And we're creating a little box structure for this. Okay, I'm gonna fold this over like this. And we're gonna connect this tab to this side here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I've got this piece here. You can see all the different parts to it. There's a tab on this side here. And we're going to go ahead and get our glue on this tab. And get some glue out to the edge. So we can get a nice, clean looking box. Get that glue out there. Okay, and I'm just going to push this down and bring this piece over and just connect it. Should line up pretty much perfectly, as long as you have it nice and flat. And this can be the bottom, so I don't need to worry about it being perfect. OK, 
Okay, and then let's rotate this over this way so that we have a little seam here on the edge. Okay, super simple. And then I just need to close this box up. And we can do so by taking these tabs and folding them in, putting glue on them and closing this up. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our glue on these tabs here. And get a little bit out to the edge there. Okay, I probably should have waited to do that until I had my glue on all the tabs here because that's going to make it dry a lot faster. So I might have to go back in and clean that up by adding some more glue. Okay, I just want to close this guy up. And what you want to do is flare the tabs out a little bit so that as you're closing this up, it has a, a little bit more surface area to grab onto and then just close that up nicely. Run your fingers along the three edges, three sides here. And I can already tell that I'm going to need to go in and clean up one of those sides because the glue is not really holding on very well, but that's okay. Two out of three ain't bad. And then I can grab my little cheat piece here and just kind of stick that underneath this piece that didn't adhere very well. Just paint a little extra glue on it, rub off any of the excess, and then just push that down and get that to hold nicely. Okay. And then the other side, we need to put four sides down. I'm going to hold on to this for a second and let that really hold, get a good hold and set properly before we move on. So we have a nice little structure. Okay. All right. So that just leaves four tabs on this side here. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. You're going to put glue on this. You're going to take this piece and just put that right on top. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Okay. So I've got glue on all four of these tabs here. And I'm just going to take this piece and pop it right on the side. Now, sometimes I'll do one at a time or just start with one side and then get the other three sides, but I'm feeling pretty confident with my craftiness today. So I'm just doing all four at the same time just to get it done. You can put it down on your table and add pressure that way, but it definitely helps to really um, kind of focus the attention by using your fingers to get those, those ends and those seams nice and clean. So that is a pretty, pretty good looking box. I've got one little section here that just didn't get the love that it needed. So I'm just going to throw a little extra glue in there, paint a little bit of glue on that, wipe off the excess and just push and hold that down to get it to look nice and clean for us. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our box constructed, all that's left to do is to take this piece and glue this to the box. Okay, so we're gonna put glue on the face of this thing and we want to cover this nicely. And I'm gonna get my glue all on this piece here, but then I've got this little applicator pad that I'm pretty much done with, so I'm gonna just brush that on there to even it out. And this is just gonna make it hold a lot quicker. Just get that lined up with the bottom nicely and the sides and just push that down. We're gonna flip this over like this to let that really get a hold. So hold that um, and let that really set on all sides here. And then all that's left to do is put our little pipe cleaners in and we're pretty much done. Okay, so here is the main structure pretty much all put together. Now we're gonna take our flower and glue that onto the base of that. Okay, you wanna make sure that the leaves are not hitting the floor, none, none of it's hitting the actual table. So wherever, wherever that is, you want to go ahead and get that glued down. Um, 
I'm actually going to go ahead and pop out this to make this kind of stick out a little bit. So I'm going to throw a pop dot right in the center there. You can put glue on the center part if you want. You can pop dot it, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do three pop dots right on the, right on the middle of that thing just to kind of give it a little bit more separation. Oh, these things are so sticky. I guess that's the point. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Just make sure that you eyeball it and get it where it's nice and centered. Okay, there we go. That looks nice. And all that's left to do then is this little pipe cleaners here. I'm going to be shooting out of this little area here. You want them sticking about, sticking out of like roughly like that. Let's see if I can show you that. Something like that. Okay, so on the back here, right along this area here, a little hot melt glue to get them to stick just like that is pretty much all you should need. And your project is ready to go. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.